let's quickly go ahead so what i want is i want the worst case design to be done for my nand gate we know nand is nothing but y equal to a dot b the whole bar where this is my circuit a b this is vdd so we just designed an inverter correct we assumed mu n is equal to twice mu p for that we took the basic size of n mos as 1 to equal the is the charging and the discharging time we want the w by l of p mos to be equal to 2 and both of them give me a resistance rn and rp respectively which now i'm going to call it as r which both were equal right i got r r which gave me equal charging and discharging so i want this to be equivalent to this inverter correct for the worst case scenario i'm talking about the worst case okay that means that see here pull down comprises of n mos n mos gives me a resistance r here the pull pull down comprises of two n moses if i have to get an equivalent circuit of this inverter this has to give me an r similarly the pmos or the pull up network comprises of pmos this also should give me an equivalent resistance r does everyone agree if both of them gives me an equivalent resistance r i can draw an equivalent circuit to this inverter and that is what we are looking at in, in worst case so let's scrutinize each one of them individually let's go with the pull down first pull down we want the total series resistance of two transistors as r so what can we say that means individual resistance has to be r by 2 because it's series r by 2 plus r by 2 will give me r now we know that for n mos when w by l was equal to 1 i got a resistance which was equal to r we just saw that correct so if i increase the value of my w by l we know that r is inversely proportional to w by l right so if i increase the w by l and it's in the same proportionality if w by l goes down by 2 r increases by 2 and vice versa so if w by l is increased to 2 we know that the resistance will get reduced by 2 correct so here the w by l sizing for n mos is nothing but 2 2 which will give me an equivalent resistance of r by 2 r by 2 and r by 2 in series with r by 2 will give me r which is exactly what i'm looking at so now we can go ahead and compete this for w by l 1 i got rn which i am calling it as r so if i increase my w by l to 2 i'll get r by 2 because they are inversely proportional 3 i'll get r by 3 if they are n it will be r by n correct does everyone agree so i got it for n mos now the p mos is a very interesting case see if you are doing a general design in that case you will not follow what i am just going to speak we are doing the worst case design can someone tell me in nand what is the worst case let's quickly understand what do you mean by worst case suppose this is my input a b this is my output y so zero happens only with one condition in the truth table with all the other three conditions one happens so look at the truth table and tell me which is the best case and which is the worst case See the best case is when both your PMOSs are on and it is trying to pull your output towards VDD. So this is the best case, correct? The worst case is only one of your PMOS is on. In this case, input A is zero. In this case, input B is zero. Only one of your PMOS is on and still gives you or it still pulls your output towards VDD. So the worst case is when only one of your PMOS is on. So we are going to design this for the worst case that means we'll presume that only one of the PMOS is on and at that point of time it should give us a value of resistance which is equal to R. Worst case, correct? Very simple. When PMOS was used alone it gave us R when W by L of it was 2 because the mobility value is 2. Simple. I want one PMOS to be on in the worst case and I want the value of it to be equal to R then the W by L of PMOS would be equal to 2. Similarly, I can presume that only this is also on. This will also give me 2. So this is the worst case. In case both of them are on, then I'll get my best case here where my resistance would be R by 2. Why? Because this is R. R would be parallel to R because both of them are on and it will give me R by 2. But this is the best case. The worst case, only one of them is on. I'm still getting my value of resistance as R, which is equivalent to the inverter and it will give me the charging time of R into CL. This is also giving me R. So this completes my design of a two input NAND. Let's quickly go ahead and fill that table. So we just understood this, right? I beg your pardon. So when the W by L PMOS size was two, I got my resistance RP, which was equal to R. We just saw that. We'll see what will happen when we increase the W by L very shortly. Let's quickly go ahead and do a design of a three input NAND similar to this. 